Can you hear me now? Baby, look at my face. You gotta be a champion to be the king. <laughs> gotta go hard, can't cheat a thing. Going stupid. Told baby girl, I'm a champion. Right now we're in Stratton, we're in Vermont. Came to the U.S. Open for snowboarding. Been invited by Louis V, which is which is kind of dope. You know what I mean? He's the top at the top of his game, and that's like a Michael Jordan inviting you to a basketball game. So you know, we here. I'm suited and booted. What's up? <laughs> So we're here at Strad Mountain Base Lodge. Me and Greg are about to meet Jim Jones, the capo himself. Super hype just because I'm a huge Dipset fan, huge Jim Jones fan. And um, they came up, check out some snowboarding, do some snowboarding. So let's get this party started. I grew up uh, with, a, with, a, with a group of kids called the Diplomats. Uh, my partner's name is Cam. Uh, high school kids coming up with a lot of ambition. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. And we just went for it, man. You know, we we put a different twist on what people saw coming out of urban communities such as the ghetto, like Harlem. And you know, Harlem was always different, so it definitely gave the people something to look at, something different to look at from a, a hustler's point of view, you would say. Very flashy. And it stuck. I mean, it wasn't easy, but it stuck. I remember sitting in my dorm at Stratton when I was like 13. I saw like that they had a rollerblade team, Diplomats rollerblade team. And I was like, dude, I want to send them my sponsor me tape for snowboarding, because I was like, you know, super into music. So but I couldn't find the info, so I just had to ask him about that. If that was legit, I was gonna that send him my. I might still crazy. send him the sponsor me tape. We'll see. I gotta put one together. Now you gotta know get what, some tricks. You know what? The funny thing is, uh, when Beef was like, yeah, no, nah, he's a fan of yours. He loves the music. I mean, no disrespect to nobody, but. But sometimes people like they be a friend of mine and then they really don't know the music, they just know of me and like that. But so when you said I'll be back, that means like you really listening to that music. Oh, yeah, it's I appreciate all my that. everyday snowboard. Nah, that's 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 dope. That's dope. Very dope. It's not like a commercial track you're talking about, you're talking about a gutter track. So that's even that makes me feel even better. That was hot. Tomorrow we got some gear for you, you know, get you kitted up and then uh <clears throat> I think you guys should come up and check out the contest and you know, get a little inspired. Yeah. And then uh, we'll be cruising back over on this yeah. side of the mountain and put it all, to, put it all it. together. I used to watch Rad back in the day before I used to go outside and rush, ride my bike. I'm gonna watch the movies to give you that inspiration. So go now out, you're gonna be go outside and hurt real yourself. Deal. <laughs> check it out, check it out live. Live. Nah, that's dope. Catch me snowballing tomorrow, this should be different. Can you hear me now? Baby, look at my way. Champion to be the king. <laughs> Gotta go hard, can't cheat a thing. Going stupid. Told baby girl I'm a G thing. Hey, baby. Met a poolside, she was in the G string. Right now we're in Stratton, we're in Vermont. Came to the US Open for snowboarding. 30th year, they said. They've been doing their stuff here. My first snowboarding trip. Got a chance to bring my son, which was a great experience. Been invited by Louis V, which is which is kind of dope. You know what I mean? He's the top at the top of his game, and that's like a Michael Jordan inviting you to a basketball game. So you know, we here. I'm suited and booted. What's up? <laughs> Crazy. Normally they probably go about five, six feet oh. higher if it was a lot colder out. But all that water in the snow is just dragging everybody yeah, down. Because it seems like when you're doing a jump, their body power is making them do the jump more than the yeah, momentum. Yeah, yeah, they're having a boost on that. Said the life come with obstacles. Oh, you're, the lo you're the local crew? I'm with y'all. Yeah, I got approached by some snowboard bunnies. You heard me? Pretty good. Pretty good. I had a good time. I think it was dope, man, to see people that recognize me out here in Vermont and in this type of atmosphere. So, you know, I can't complain. I'm about to shred. You heard? Ask you about your favorite snowboarder. Tell them you've been waiting for them all day. Who you waiting for? 
<laughs> you waiting for the V man to come out. Drink it from parachuting down a plane for court game. If you give me the lane, I'm gonna spread my way. Here comes Louis Vito. Stratton Mountain School graduate coming in with the double cork front 10. Into the half double cork. Normally does it out of too. I run out with a front side 10. That is Louis Vito. Stratton Mountain, show your appreciation for Louis Vito. Good run, man. Yeah, we're all going snowboarding after this, you know, we got the, we got a little bit of a crew with us and you know, showing what's up over in Vermont and then uh you know then he owes me one when I come out to New York, so that's how we do it. That sounds like a pretty decent deal. So when do we expect to see you dropping in up here? Um yeah, give me a couple of years of dropping off there, but you know, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to learning some uh, some snowboarding lessons from from the big guy himself. And uh, when he gets to the city, I'm gonna I'm put him in the booth and see what his, his rap skills is like. Uh, after my first run, Jim and his whole crew rolled to the other side and got lessons. As soon as the contest was over, I went over there and met him. And you know, they were getting it. They were definitely still struggling a little bit. But you know, after a couple runs with Jim at least, he started linking turns and he just got really into it. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. He was baby. so stoked just to keep going and I don't think any of them really wanted to stop. Come on, let's rip. Let's rip. <laughs> <laughs> I respect the fact that he actually invited me out here for uh, doing snowboard thing, but I respect him even more for him knowing my music. Like he just doesn't know the commercial songs that everybody knows, like the pop champagne and the balling. He's playing I'll Be Back when he does his runs. When he drops in, he's playing some Jim Jones music certified. So it's the dope feeling, man, just to uh, get with a person who understands exactly what world I'm coming from. And, and now we can mesh worlds. So, you know, you'll look for a lot of LV and VL things. Louis V and Vampire Life going down. Vamping. See me in Philly, me doing willies, hopping out on Broad Street, my V looking illy. <laughs> Blood up on her shoes, I bet this bitch was trying to kill me. I tell him I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. We just was ripping. I got my heels and my, and my toe turned together. So now I'm trying to get that rhythm and flow so I can slash through, you know. Hey, fun or what? Super fun, man. One of the funner things I've done in life so far. It feels like a water slide. You know, a water slide is always fun to be on. Definitely new respect for snowboarders and what they do and, and how, how much they body they got to put into this whole thing because twisting and turning like that can't be fun in the morning. Jim was ripping today. I mean, he didn't have enough up top. He went down without us. Hit the little jump, went back up and hit the jump again. It was cool to see. I like seeing that stuff, man. It makes me stoked, so that's what's up. Yeah, I ain't know. I know I ski in it, but this is what this is for my outer outerwear line I made this year. It's called Protocol. I designed seven jackets and we sold them all out around the country. So yeah. you can take you can take this one. Thanks, man. Good luck on that. Louis B. Appreciate you, man. This is a yeah, priceless trip, man. You guys coming out, man. That's it. Successful day. Jim Jones and the whole crew went snowboarding, watched. I made it through the finals, and now uh, I'm gonna go chill out. So thanks for coming. Today was sick, you know. The weather was starting to clear up. The pipe was pretty good. Uh, my practices actually went really well, so I was hyped going into the event. First run, I slammed super hard on my butt, on the lip, and on a double micro truck. I haven't really done that one before, like landing like that. And my legs seriously went to sleep, like went numb. He's a tough kid and I've never seen him sit in the middle of the half pipe and gather himself like that, so I knew he was hurt. 